FSR 3 has landed, at least on the PC, we're still waiting of course for the first supported game on the console and most likely maybe also for Spoken or Immortals, but I'm actually hoping for Starfield. But to be very honest, and this is off topic now, but we shouldn't put too much hope into FSR 3 on the console and maybe that's a topic for, for another video. What I like to talk about in this video is um, there are a couple of comments and I hope you watched my last video actually where I compared the, yeah, the pure performance between DLSS and FSR 3 and actually I'm, I'm very impressed. So, so short story, long story short, um, in, yeah, in terms or in regards of performance there's literally no difference between FSR 3 and DLSS, at least not in this game. Okay, So watch my video, you can see it really doesn't matter what you use if you just look at pure numbers, FPS. In regards of the picture quality, visual quality, there is still a difference and in my opinion DLSS is still leading. But again, first game, first update or first version of FSR 3, I'm very sure there are more updates to come. So I'm looking forward actually to compare this in a couple of months. Anyway, in this video, and this is what the video is about, I read a couple of comments in my last video and uh, they mentioned actually that there are some issues with FSR 3, not in terms of the visual quality, in terms of features. So the first thing what I'd like to cover is VRR, Variable Refresh Rate, because there is some rumor going on that VRR or G-Sync or AMD FreeSync, whatever you want to call it, at the end it's yeah, more or less the same. But there's some rumor going on that VRR is not working anymore with FSR 3 and this is not quite right. I mean there is a restriction but not with FSR 3 because if I turn on FSR 3 let's say to the quality mode you can actually see my VRR or the FPS counter is still working and I can assure you there is right now no stuttering or yeah this is a very nice gameplay experience at the moment. VRR at this very moment is working but as soon we enabling the frame generation then we have an issue because now VRR is actually not working anymore and we have a lot of stuttering on the screen. And I found actually a very weird behavior because as soon you activate FSR 3 frame generation and let's say we're using the FSR 3 native AA solution or in terms of the quality you can see my FPS counter right now and the menu is actually jumping around 40, 42, 43, 64 FPS. So this is really weird. So it looks like it's just um, yeah, finding some values but at the end as soon we're going back into the game we have 119 FPS and when we're looking at the MSY afterburner right now, my frame rate actually is around 85, 88, 90 FPS so not even close to the 120 FPS what my LG OLED TV is right now telling me. That's just the refresh rate actually, 119 Hertz. So sometimes it's jumping around, it's really really weird but I can tell you, I can clearly see on the screen that VRR is disabled. There's a lot of stuttering and even when we now would actually turn off VSync because right now it's still turned on but if we turn off VSync I still or I have on top a lot of screen tearing also. So VRR with frame generation enabled in FSR 3 is not supported at this very moment. And the next thing what I like to talk about is HDR in combination with FSR 3. I read a couple of comments and they're saying actually that HDR is not working with FSR 3 anymore but this is not right. What you can see here right now is actually everything is turned off in terms of yeah, any upscaler but as soon as I turn this on we can use whatever we want, we can use balanced or something else. You can see actually that HDR is still working as it should be even with frame generation turned on it really doesn't matter. You can turn it off and there is literally no difference. No impact on HDR with FSR 3. Okay my friends, so as always thank you very much for watching me and I like to make one thing very very clear. I really like AMD because they just 
they're just making stuff happen with software solutions. You know, that's that's what I really, really like. I like to, I hope that with my next PC build, I can actually support AMD. So I'm using an AMD CPU also with my latest PC build, a 7950X3D, because this is, in my opinion, the best CPU what you can buy at this very moment in combined for a workload on end gaming, okay? So, but in terms of GPUs, I still think Nvidia is the better option for content creators like me, because I need the N Nvidia um, broadcast solution and stuff like that. You know, you just need all the stuff what Nvidia is offering for content creating. If I would just game, if I would just play a game, I would actually buy an AMD graphic card. First of all, cheaper, almost the same performance. And then most of the time you're getting actually more VRAM on top. You spend less money and you get actually more. And yeah, Ray tracing is probably not on the same level in terms of performance, but that's a different story because even for all the ray tracing effects, because I like to play in 4K actually with a high frame rate, and as soon you turn on ray tracing, your frame rate goes down like crazy. So I'm not the biggest fan right now for in terms of ray tracing, but it's just because of the performance. So not a deal breaker for me, to be very honest. So again, in my opinion, FSR3 or the open, source solution from AMD, whatever you want to call it, is just great. The same what AMD did back then with FreeSync compared to G-Sync from Nvidia. It is just a much easier on, and the point is everybody can use it, you know? I'm using it on a Nvidia 4080 without any restrictions. And this is the point. This is the point. And that's why I like AMD. Thank you very much for watching me and I see you guys next time. Bye.